All right, let's talk about proportions. So with proportions, we're solving, we're kind of setting up a system where um, uh, it could be, something can be proportional to one another, okay? So for the last half of the section, section three, we will solve for proportions. A proportion is a comparison of two ratios. To solve a proportion, you must do two steps. First, cross multiply, and then you do division. You always divide the number by itself, the lone number with no numbers, by the number next to the letter, okay? So here we have a proportion set up, 16 divided by 2.96 is equal to x. x is this unknown number. Okay. divided by 42. Now, what we're going to actually do to solve this is we're going to cross multiply. Okay, we're going to multiply. So 16 times 42 equals 29.6 times x. So we've cross multiplied. That's what we did there. Then we're going to divide both. Well, actually, what they did was they just did 16 times 42. Then the next step is we're going to divide both sides by 29.6. And what do we get? We get x equals the answer. That was the unknown answer. That was what made it proportional. Okay, so here we found the little solution, right? That's our little um, intro to this idea, all right? We have a few that we need to complete. So we need to do proportions. Okay. So I'm going to cross multiply. That gives me 181x equals 672 times 67.5. Okay. Uh, so let's put that together. 672 times 67.5. There we go. 4, 5, 3, 6, 0. 181 times x. All right, now I'm going to divide both sides by 181. 181. So if I do that, 181, what do I get? 250. How should I round? This says round to the tenths place. So I'm just going to follow the instructions. And that would be a sixth in the sixth or in the tenths place. There's a six in the tenths place. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to do this problem. I need to cross multiply. Okay. So 9,400 equals 384 times four. Where'd my X go? Okay, now let's go ahead and multiply those. Three, nine, eight, four times 394, okay, equals, copy that down. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by 9,400. x equals 166. And they want me to round to the tenths place. That's what it asked me to do. But notice if I round to the tenths place, I look to the eight, that's going to make it go up. So that's going to make this go up. So it'll be 167.0. I think I did it right. So that's a little practice of just doing the basic algebra, okay? Okay, uh, let's keep going. So Amy is taking 15 credit hours at Ivy Tech this semester and paid $1,997.25 for tuition. She's considering taking 11 credit hours in the summer. How much would tuition be? Okay, so we want to set up the proportion. Okay, we want to set up the proportion. How can we do this? I'm going to set it up with 
25 cents divided by 15 equals, we have 11 that we're thinking about taking, and we don't know how much that would be. If this was proportional, how much would it be? That's the idea, okay? How am I going to do that? I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to take this dollar amount times 11, and then I'm going to divide by 15. And that should give me the answer. So let's see what that would be. So I take the dollar amount times it by 11 divided by 15. I get $1,000. $464.65, okay? So I think that would be the price of tuition if it is proportional to the system they gave me. Okay. All right, next up, we have a baby kitten that weighs 937 grams, and we'll get 22 milliliters of an antibiotic when born. If the kitten weighs 1,670 grams, how much antibiotic will the kitten get. Okay, so I'm solving for milliliters. That's what I'm going to try to solve for. Okay, so let's do that. 22 milliliters for 937 grams would be, and then this kitten weighs 1,670. That X should tell me how many milliliters this kitten would get. Okay, so we're solving for milliliters. How many milliliters will this kitten get if the medicine is proportional, okay? How would I do that? I'm gonna multiply the weight times the milliliter and then divide by this weight here. So 1670 times 22 divided by 937. And... Mm, How should we round? Let's round to the tenth. 39.2 milliliters. Okay. So that was if it was proportional. This was milliliters. This was grams. This was grams. So it gave me, by doing that cross multiplication, it gave me the amount of milliliters. Okay. Hopefully it makes sense how I'm doing that. A pack of 40 paper clips costs $9.20. If you spent $28.50 on paper clips, how many did you buy? So we're trying to solve for how many paper clips. Okay, so 40 paper clips was $9.20. How many paper clips would it be for $28.50? Okay. Really quick question. This might be an up question, but really quick. On number five, um, how because you're trying to figure out the mill or the yeah, the milliliters, how would you know which number goes on top and goes on bottom? Is it because of like the size variation? Like obviously so many grams goes into um no, it's not a conversion or anything like that. No, I know, no, no, I know. I'm just saying, how do you know which number to put over which with something like that? So I think, what am I, I'm just thinking, what am I solving for? That's the, the only thing I'm thinking is, what am I solving for? So a, a baby kitten weighs 937 grams and they'll get 22 milliliters of antibiotic when born. Okay, first sentence is just information. There's no question, it's just pure information. If the kitten weighs 1,670 grams, how much antibiotic will the kitten get? So I realized, okay, I'm solving for the amount of medicine. I know how much this kitten weighs. I'm solving for how much medicine. So, okay, I know I'm going to, the X is how much medicine that goes with it. So I'm just going to write X over how much the kitten weighs, okay? And then I just need to line up with what they gave me. So 22 milliliters over 937. So notice milliliters, I have milliliters on top. I have grams on bottom. Yep, and, that makes sense. That makes and sense. this X will solve for 
uh, how much, how much it will be. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And does anyone remember how much it was? Um, I don't, this poor kitten, I don't remember. 39.2. 22 times 1.670 divided by 937. 39.2. Okay. For number seven, a car can travel 60 miles in one hour. How many hours will it take to travel 220 miles? It sounds like I'm solving for hours. What am I solving for? I'm solving for hours. First sentence is just information. They give me uh, 60 miles in one hour. How many hours in this amount of miles? So one hour over 60 miles equals X over 220 miles. This should output the amount of hours. Okay, so that'd be 220 times 1 divided by 60 miles, not minutes. So the amount of, it says technically how many hours. So this is 3.6 repeating hours. Okay. That's how many hours it would take. Uh, oh, okay. So I have Did, a question on this yes. one. So it said round to the nearest tenth. So would you just put 3.7? Yeah, we, we can. That's fine. Okay. I wasn't Where sure if it... you required that. Didn't you say at the top it above it, it said oh, round yeah. to the nearest tenth? Right, right, right. 3.7 hours. Okay. <laughs> And then someone said, did we finish this? I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a little confused myself because I'm like- the, the answer was 3.92. Okay. I'm like reading the chat and it's just too much. Uh, is this what? One, two, yeah. nine. Yeah, that's 39.2. 39.2. 39 39.2 was for number five. We're talking about number six, which is 123.9. Yeah. Paper clips. Yeah. Okay. A pack of eight pens can last for about 10 weeks. How many pens will it take for a whole semester? 16 weeks. Okay. I'm solving for how many pens. All right. So it's eight pens for 10 weeks. And here we have 16 weeks and we wanna know how many pens. Okay, so I think this would do it. So I could do eight times 16 divided by 10. And how many pens will it take for the whole semester? Since it's 12.8, I think we would do best with 13 pens, I think. We're gonna need the whole the whole pen. If we have a little bit left, 20% of a pen, I think that's okay, but I think we're gonna need that 13th. 